All right, so today we're going to be doing Adobe Animate again. So let's go ahead and open up Adobe Animate. So here I am, uh, Adobe Animate CC 2018. And today we're going to be just making a very brief animation. So we've drawn some shapes. Um, and so we've learned a little bit more about the tools. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, make a very simple animation. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create new, create new action script 3.0, even though we're not going to be coding in, in uh, action script today, but we're still going to open up this type of file. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave the stage width at 550. We're going to leave the stage height at 400. I'm okay with the stage being white. Um, if you did not open your animate that way, you opened it by going to file new. Okay then just make sure you choose Action Script 3.0 uh, with 550 pixels, 400 pixels, 24 frames per second, background white is good, okay? And, okay, you click OK, it'll pop up here. Right now my tab is called Untitled 1, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that. I'm gonna go to File, Save As, and I'm going to go ahead and call it my last name underscore my first name hyphen and we're gonna I'm gonna call it keyframe <clears throat> gonna call it keyframe Annie so animation keyframe Annie <clears throat> okay all right so I've got a layer one okay I'm gonna double click that and I'm gonna call that egg okay so I'm gonna make three three layers I'm gonna make this one called egg and on my egg layer I'm going to go to my tools panel. I'm going to pull out an oval. Um, you can make the fill color any color that is within the green family. Okay, so I want a green colored egg. <clears throat> so I'm going to go with a four screen on my stroke. Um, I'm fine with a black stroke. I'm going to make my stroke maybe, I'm going to make my stroke five. Okay, um, style. You can make your style any style you want. I'm going to go ahead and do the solid line. All right, so I'm going to draw an egg. I'm going to draw my oval. Okay, so I've got my oval. Now with keyframe animations, because we're going to be doing keyframe animation, meaning that every single frame in a keyframe is a frame where an object changes. Okay, so right now it's like I have, I just introduced this character, so it's got a black dot. So it's indicated that this is a keyframe because uh, something has changed. Okay, so, so with a keyframe animation, I'm going to fill these frames and there's going to be a change. And so that's what makes them keyframes. And animation is that uh, the object is moving. The human eye sees approximately, I think it's 29.97 frames per second as movement, uh, 24 frames per second, and is how we've got our set up. Um, right here, you can see right down there, it says 24 frames per second. Right now, we've, we've, our lapse time is zero seconds, okay? When we get to, you know, we get out here, while well, there's nothing in the frame, you know, then it'll change to one point something or other seconds, okay? So I'm gonna fill one second of keyframed animation. The easiest way to do it is not to work with this graphic, but to work with symbols. Right now, when I look in my library, I have no symbols or graphics or video or movies or audio or anything like that in my properties. So I'm going to take this egg, okay? And remember is that the, the graphic element is made up of the fill and the stroke. So I'm going to left click and select the whole thing. And then I'm going to change it to a symbol. The shortcut to change it to a symbol is F8 but I'm going to go to modify, convert to symbol. Okay, I'm gonna call this green egg. I've got choices, it could be a movie clip, a button or a graphic because I'm gonna be animating it. I wanna pick it as a movie clip, okay? So it's a movie clip, it's going into the library root folder. So I'm gonna click okay. Now when I go to my library, there it is, okay? If I double click it here, whoops, there we go. You see now I'm not in scene one, I'm on the green. So I can actually change my green egg in here. To get back to scene one, I just click scene one. So here I am. So I've got, OK, 
Okay, and then when I look at the properties for it, an instance name, it's that's when I want to name like this uh, this frame. It's telling me that it's a movie clip. It's telling me it's an instance of green egg. It's telling me the 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 position and the size. Uh, but you see, I don't have the ability to change you know the color or anything like that now because it's a symbol. In order for me to change the color of my egg, I have to go to the library, and I got to double click that, and then I can come in here. And then I can change that. And then it changes the egg in the library. Okay. Um, so again, I'm right here. I'm on the egg, green egg. But I want to go back to scene one. So here I am back in scene one. And let's animate. Okay. So I've got, I'm starting here. Now I want to come to frame two. Okay. And I can, to insert a keyframe, meaning I'm going to copy the previous frame with all the content here. I just do a right click insert keyframe. Okay. That copies over the egg in its position. Now I want to animate it. So here in frame two, I'm just going to move it over. I saw a shadow where it was and I want to rotate it. I want my egg to roll. So I'm going to go to modify, transform, free transform. Okay. So now I can roll my egg. Okay. And we're only going to do this for one second. Okay. So I'm going to go to the next frame, right click, insert keyframe, move my egg, roll the egg. Basic. Oh, okay. That's fine. Go to the next one, insert keyframe, roll the egg. Okay. I'm going to go to here on this frame. Okay. I can go to insert. I can go to timeline and then I can go to keyframe there. Okay, that's the same thing as doing the right click. Move it down. I'm going to roll the egg. <clears throat> right click, insert keyframe, roll the egg. Right click, insert keyframe, roll. Ah! Oh the egg. Okay, right click, insert keyframe. Okay, and you're going to do this for 24 frames on a green egg. And then we're going to do a triangle. And then we're going to do a, a rectangle. Okay. Insert keyframe. Remember, if you lose the, if you lose the little modify. Squares, you can go back to modify, transform, free transform. Uh, you can do rotate and skew, scale and rotate. Did I already move it? Let's go back and look. No, we did not. Okay. So. All right. Almost there. Remember the insert keyframe feature function. What that does is that copies over the data from this frame, all the graphics to the next frame. And a keyframe is a frame where something has changed. So if it's just a frame, the graphics, the video, the movie, whatever are static. Static meaning doesn't move. Dynamic, dynamic means that there's change. Okay. So it means it's moved. Okay, we are on keyframe 24. So this is the last frame I'm going to worry about moving right now. 
All right, so I can scrub the timeline. Okay, there's my animation. Remember, this is called a playhead. I'm going to press play on the little controller. It's showing me where I'm at. You know, I can render test by doing a control key, enter. Okay, and it's going to test my animation. Okay, it turns it into a Swift file, which is an animated flash file. Okay, now I need to do a rectangle and I need to do a, a uh, triangle. So I'm going to come over here to my layers and I'm going to add a new layer. And I'm going to call this layer uh, toast. Okay, and I'm going to make another layer and I'm going to call this layer, what's, what comes in a, a triangle shape? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll call it cheese. No, I don't want to call it cheese. Cheese is a is a square. We will. Yeah, cheese is a rectangle or funky funky cut cheese. All right. So now I'm going to on my toast layer. So I'm going to bring my playhead back to frame one. Okay. And so I'm going to insert a frame. Okay, actually there's a frame there already, but I'm going to insert a frame. I'm going to turn off my egg layer. I'm going to turn off my cheese layer. So that way I don't make any mistakes and work on the wrong layer by accident. So now I'm going to go over here. This one's going to be my rectangle. I'm going to choose a rectangle. I'm going to go to properties. I need to choose a color that is within, uh, we're going to say within the blue family. Okay, so I've got my blue. I'm okay with the stroke. Okay, I need a rectangle. I want to start it over here on the right. Okay, I've got it there. I'm going to select the whole thing. Okay, left click and select the whole thing. I'm going to turn it into a symbol. F8. <clears throat> F8 is the shortcut to change it to a symbol, but I'm going to go to modify, convert to symbol, and I'm going to call this blue toast. Remember, this is a movie clip because we're animating it. Whoops, cancel and OK. Let me check my library. Got my toast, got my green egg. Let me go back to here. Okay, the, I'm going to right click, right click, insert keyframe, going to move it over. I'm going to go to modify, transform, free transform. I'm going to rotate it. Okay, I'm just going to do like two or three more. Okay, I'm going to scrub and test, I'm going to turn on my egg. Okay. Okay, I'm going to turn off my egg. I'm going to turn off my toast. I'm going to turn on turn on my cheese. I'm going to make sure I'm on my cheese layer. <clears throat> cheese is going to be a triangle. So I'm going to click the polystar tool. I'm going to go to options. Number of sides is going to be three. Um, I can choose either a polygon or a star. Shouldn't matter with three sides. And then it needs to be from the red family. So I'm going to go with mm, right there. Okay, and now make sure I'm there. And then I'm going to start. I'm going to start here. Okay. I'm going to go back to my direct selection tool. I'm going to select my triangle. I'm going to go to modify. I'm going to go to convert to symbol. I'm going to call this red triangle. And click OK. I'm going to double check my library. There they are. Okay. I'm going to come here to frame two on the cheese. It's a bad name, cheese. It doesn't match. I'm going to move it up. I'm going to modify, transform, free transform. Right click, insert keyframe. Right click, insert keyframe. Okay, going to turn on these other layers. I'm going to test it. Okay. Gonna right click. Okay, so basically you see here all these areas right there. Okay, those are all frames, but the data doesn't move. So that's why there's no dot. 
because there's a dot that means something is changing within the frame. Okay, so these are frozen. If I wanted to get rid of these, I would come down here and I would delete, I would remove the frame, but I don't want that. I want you, I want you to finish animating each one of these frames. Okay, each one of the frames for your uh, rectangle and your triangle layer. When you are done to turn it into me, I'm going to save my file real quick because remember the asterisk means it hasn't been saved in all. For you to turn your file into me, you need to go to File, Export, Export Movie, and you need to make sure it's a SWF movie, uh, sometimes called a SWIFT, okay? But that's a Flash movie, okay? You need to make sure it's your last name, your first name, and keyframe Annie, okay? And then save it, okay? And then you're going to turn that into the Google Classroom. When I open it, it should open up in the Flash Player. If it doesn't open in the Flash Player, you can do a right click and then open with and choose the Adobe Flash Player. Okay. These types of files are designed to be played in a web page. Okay. You can also insert them into your websites. You can insert them into movie files as well. Okay. If you have a question, you need to ask. Okay, finish animating the red triangle, finish animating the blue rectangle. You see how they kind of go across, okay? They need to go in different directions. Questions? Ask. Good job.